Websites, they don't work. People don't buy through websites, especially if you're a service provider. Now, have you heard of the statement or have you felt this for your own business in case if you are someone who is providing services or who is selling your expertise as a service? Now, let me tell you, for the past one year, more than a year, I've been able to attain 500 plus customers for my business completely through online selling and my website was one of the key factors in it. Now, in case if you are not able to get customers through your websites, there are some mistakes which might be happening. And in this particular video, I'm going to be sharing with you five things to keep in mind and five mistakes to avoid in order to get customers buy from your website. Now, websites are not just for the sake of uh, being online or just to show a portfolio online. No, that's not the purpose of the website. Okay, the real purpose of a website should be to get you customers because that is something which is present 24 7 on the internet and whenever people find it you know it should be uh, an asset which attracts people for your business now in case you want to learn how this could be done please stay till the end of this video and make sure you please hit the subscribe button so that you don't ever miss any of these kind of informative videos from me in the future so let's quickly jump on to my mind map over here and here are the five reasons why your website is not getting you customers. So the first reason over here is you might not have a clear messaging on your website. Now, it is very important that the message needs to be crisp and clear for your customers to understand. Because, you know, let me tell you, when customers uh, come to your website, they might not be knowing a lot about your expertise. You know, especially I've seen a lot of designers uh, interior designers, architects, uh, when I go to the website, every website looks more and the same. You know, it's only images of projects that they have done, but there is no clear messaging on what the customer should expect. Yeah. Also, if you are any service provider, you know, your service is very much important to you and you might know a lot about your service, but you know, the customer might not be knowing anything. Yeah. And it's very important that it, the message needs to be put in simple terms for the customer to understand. Yeah, now when it comes to messaging here are three things the first thing is people don't know what's in it for them as i said people are not even to understand what you're giving uh, and uh, maybe you have not even put out a message that is the worst thing that can happen yeah then the second thing is there is no clarity on what problems are you solving for the customer now when people come to your website you know there are a few problems that they have in their minds for example, whether this will be cost effective, whether this will actually cater to my needs, or is this what I'm actually looking for? Now, when you provide a messaging where, you know, all these problems are solved and people are able to resonate with you, that is when, you know, the customers would want to actually come and uh, give some attention to you. They won't buy. I'm not telling they'll straight away buy, but at least they will give some attention, right? Then the third thing is, there is no connection with the target audience. Maybe the website that you have created and the messaging, let's say you have the messaging, but that message is not, uh, you know, that it's not that attractive to whoever you're serving. Okay. So maybe the messaging needs some change. Yeah. So this is the first aspect why your website might not be getting you customers. It, it could be whether you have no message over there, or even if you have some message, not actually much clear and it's not attracting people. So maybe you would want to change your messaging and might to think about uh, a different message. Then the second thing that uh, could hold you back uh, and your website back from getting customers is there is no clear direction. Yeah. For example, when people come onto your website, they don't know what to do. You know, there, are, there would be multiple touch points. There, there would be some projects that you are showing or they, you might have given some social media icons or, you know, you know there are multiple blogs and multiple things. But uh, people don't know what exactly, what is the pathway to go through. Okay, for example, here are three things. The first thing is that uh, there are multiple click points for people. Yeah, because of which they can just get lost in the website and uh, getting the client, you know, like, like actually sending them through a proper pathway might get neglected. Okay, then the second thing is that there is no guided pathway through design. So... Uh, you know, it's, it's very important that you design the website in such a manner that uh, your call to action buttons are highlighted. You know, people can actually see and navigate in a proper manner, in a proper direction. Now, whenever you see some really good websites, 
it's very easy and and you know just by looking at the website becomes clear okay this is what i got to do this is where i need to go so the website needs to guide the customers on what steps they need to take okay and ultimately uh, you don't have uh, any call to action maybe there is no call to action or that that call to action is not highlighted enough for the people to make sure uh, to click on it okay uh, most of the times i've seen websites where there's just a contact page and uh, people have to actually put in the effort to go to the contact page okay and maybe they might not even reach there okay maybe they don't even there are a lot of people who don't even have a contact page okay or worst they only have a contact page now if you only have that if there's just a number without any value without any messaging it's very difficult for people to just come in because nobody would want to just be sold okay so this is the second thing that you don't have a clear direction uh, for people to follow the third thing is there is no customer magnet now what do we mean by customer magnet customer magnet could be anything any resource which you are giving free for your audience and uh, it is adding some value and is solving their problem okay so here are three things when it comes to customer magnets so the first thing is there are no free downloadable resources that you are giving now it could be anything it could be a free pdf file which uh, solves the problems of your customers it could be maybe a small ebook that you are giving or it could be something like a video solution for a problem that your customers might face or it could be something like a webinar that you are inviting people to where you are giving them a lot of knowledge or something like that okay so there are no free downloadable resources the second thing is there are no problem solvers for your expertise through your expertise now since you are an expert you know or you are a business owner you might have some knowledge because of which you have started the business right that, that something that gave you confidence that yeah this is why i want to do this business now that means you have some knowledge now that knowledge needs to be shared out to in order to gain more trust and in order for people to understand that you are authentic and you actually have the skill sets right so are, do you are you having these things as your customer magnet or do you have a customer magnet now the thing is when you give this pieces of content when you give these pieces of knowledge what you can do is you it it could be something that you are getting from the customers like you could get their details you could get their name email address phone number and this helps you to keep connected with your audience Okay, you can uh, keep on sending them newsletters. You can keep on sending them more valuable stuff. I'm not telling you to sell. Okay, nowhere you have to sell anything. Just keep on adding more and more free value. Yeah, because once you build a relationship with people, the thing is they are more likely to get uh, your services. Yeah. So the third thing is you might not have any customer magnet. So make sure there is a customer magnet that you have or some free resource that you could give to your customers. Then the fourth thing. that we have over here is there is no consistency in driving traffic to your website maybe everything that you have done is super perfect you know you have a clear messaging you know there is a proper direction for the customers you also have a customer magnet but your website is not getting traffic now if there are people there, there's no people coming to your website even if you make the best website in the world is it going to work obviously not right so you got to get consistent traffic onto your website and uh, here are the three things when it comes to traffic the first thing is there is no content which is leading to your website now i can understand if you just started your website there are chances that it won't be that famous right and it won't come into the uh, first two pages of google right it won't come into the top of google now but even though it won't come there there are different other ways to drive people to your website the first thing is you can keep posting out content on different platforms it could be on linkedin instagram facebook or youtube anywhere but for, through that content you should drive people to your website now maybe you're not doing that on a consistent basis because of which people are not coming to the website the second thing is there is no consistency in creating content maybe you just created content for like maybe a week or you just posted like two three pieces of content but after that you just stopped it yeah now you know when you do this there it's it's very difficult for people to drive onto the website now when the content creation is continuous that is when you are going to be getting consistent pe people consistently coming to your website okay and the third thing is you have the content okay you are putting out content but you are not mentioning your website now how will people come to know about your website right so because i've said this 
you can go to my website at the bottom and you can check all of these uh, things over there. I've, I've placed all of these elements properly and uh, just go at the description and just go to sankarshnarvekar.com. Okay, so you can check out my website for this and uh, and you can actually model it and make yours in a similar manner with respect to your expertise whatever you are providing all right so that is the fourth thing there is no consistent traffic that is coming to your website and the fifth thing over here is there is no value addition okay now what do we mean by value addition see the thing is maybe you have a website but you're only selling over there you know there's no nothing for the visitors as such so let's let's look into these points so the first thing is it's only about selling your services and products and people don't like to be you know sold right in the first place people want some value you know whatever you are selling why is it worth it you know why should i take it why should i buy from you now that is really very important to portray in your website and uh, maybe you could give some free advice as i said there should be some customer magnet you know maybe you could put out content over there so it's it's it shouldn't be only about selling your services. Okay. And the second thing is visitors have no motivation to return back. Now, you know, if you don't have any content, if you don't have something new, which is popping out in your website every single time, visitors might not have any motivation because see, the first time when someone comes to your website, they might not come with a buying decision. They might have just come to inquire, okay, just to just look uh, on to what you're providing. But let's say when they came to the first time, their first impression was really good. You know, they felt like a lot of, they, they felt that they got a lot of value from your website and maybe they returned back the next time, maybe they came back the third time. And now it's a good relationship which has been built subconsciously in their minds. And now when they have the need, it becomes easier for them and there are less restrictions for them to buy from you. Because not every time people are going to be buying right at the first time, right? So visitors need to have some motivation to return back. And the third thing is, you have very less backlinks, very few content on your website because of which the SEO score is always low. Okay. So you need to keep on putting content. You know, you could keep on putting blogs or just make a YouTube video and link it onto your website. Or, you know, if you have some Instagram content, maybe link that to your website. So content is like super important. Now, in case if you want to know, uh, you know, the like, like how to create content in the right way and the things to be kept in mind before creating content, you can click on this button below at the top. You can see there's this I button. Uh, I've created a video on this and you can check that out too. But uh, yeah, so these are ultimately the five things which uh, need to be kept in mind uh, and the five reasons why your website is not getting you customers. Okay. So make sure that you upgrade your website based upon the insights that I've told you. And uh, once you get uh, start getting customers, Please let me know in case if you have any other problems, do let me know. So let me just quickly repeat to you these five things. First is you don't have a clear messaging. Okay. Or maybe there is no messaging. You need to have that. Second is maybe there is no clear direction for the customer that, that, that they can go anywhere where they feel like. Uh, the third thing is maybe there is no customer magnet, no free resource that you are giving them. Uh, fourth thing is there is no consistency in driving traffic. Maybe you have everything properly in place but there are no people coming there. So you need to create more content to drive people over there. And ultimately there is no value addition on the website itself. Yeah. Now make sure you take these five steps into account. And in case, if you would want to know how do you quickly get customers, consistent customers coming for your services, you know what, click on the button below and you could register for my free webinar where I'm going to be sharing with you the three secrets on how you could get customers come consistently coming to buy your services even though nobody knows you or even though you don't have a big following online okay so if you're just starting off your business you're a small business owner or if you've been there in a while in the space for a while or if you're a uh, self-employed professional click on that uh, link at the bottom and you can register for my webinar it's sankash.co forward slash digitalize uh, you can just type this in google and uh, you could register for my webinar okay so thank you so much for staying in the end Please hit the like button if you have not liked the video and also hit the subscribe button uh, so that you don't ever miss any future informative videos from me. And let's meet in the next video. Until then, bye-bye and take care.